What's up Photography Mafia? In this video tutorial, you're going to learn how to straighten this building using the Photoshop Perspective Warp Tool. I took this photo in Vic Iceland, and as you can see, I already made some image adjustments to it, but it'll serve our purpose to learning how the Perspective Warp Tool works. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click, hold and drag this layer down here to duplicate it. And I'm just going to keep this as a backup layer just in case I need it later on. I'm going to click on this eye tool to hide it. Now I'm going to go to the edit menu. I'm going to select perspective warp. And now I'm on the layout option. So the layout option, I need to put a guide over this building or over this church. So I'm going to click, hold and drag. Initially it's a rectangle, but then I need to align the corners and these edges with this church. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to align the bottom part of the church, the base or the floor to this guide right here or to this line. So I'm going to click, hold and drag this corner here. Same thing with this corner here. And that looks good. Now I'll align this edge right here, this part of the wall like that. And the same thing here. So I'll click, hold and drag this. And now I need to align the top of the roof with this guide right here. So I can do that by moving this point here. And while I do that, I need to be careful. Everything else still looks good. This I can move a little bit and correct it a little bit better. So now we have the guide laid out properly. Now what we need to do is click on warp. And now we can select these corner points and warp the image or warp the church. But as you'll see, it'll also distort the rest of the image. And we'll correct that later on. So the first thing I'll do is start with this part right here. I'll click, hold and drag this here. And it is a little bit GPU or CPU intensive. So I'm just going to click and hold and drag and try to align it. And I'm going to press control or command plus the apostrophe to bring up the guides. So this part looks good. This top of the church doesn't look good. So I'm going to try to move this up a little bit and that looks a little bit better and let's see here and I think that looks good enough for me now so it's not totally perfect but like eyeball wise it looks pretty good so I'll click on accept or you can press enter and I'm going to hide the guides now or the grid and the obvious thing is we have these dead pixels here or these transparent pixels due to the warping. So I'll, I'm going to press the keyboard shortcut C. I'm going to crop this part away. And I'm going to crop this in right here. Like this. I think a crop like this looks good. I'm not a master. I'm not a master at cropping, but I'll press enter. That looks good. And we still have these dead or transparent pixels here. So I'm going to go to the polygonal lasso tool right here. So right click with your mouse here and make sure this is selected. And I'm going to make a selection of this. So I'm going to click here, click here, click here, click here, click here, and click here and press enter. So I selected this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the edit menu again, click on content to wear fill. Sometimes this will work. Sometimes it won't because of this fence. This part is tricky right here, but it says use the sampling brush tool to add to the sampling area in order to fill the selected region. So I'll select OK. And right now I'm on custom. So I got to paint in some sampling area. So I'll paint in all of this just like that. Now let's see how it does here. So here's the preview. I'm going to zoom in here and it looks like it did an okay job. I'll just click on okay here. I'll deselect this and it looks like it did a pretty good job here. And there is this blemish here. I'm not too sure if it was there before. I'll just clean that up by going to the spot healing brush tool, paint this away. There's another one that just came up that looks good. I'll zoom out by pressing control or command zero. And there you go. So let's take a look at the before and after. 
So this is the before and this is the after. Let me just zoom out here. So just by using the perspective warp tool as well as the content aware fill tool to remove some of the dead pixels, we were able to correct the perspective of this image. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. And as always, live easy, sleep breezy, and stay lovely.